Before we begin today's broadcast, we would like to take a moment to thank our supporters on Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks, whose support helps make live streams like this possible. If you want to become a patron supporter, head over to Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks today. And now, without further ado, let's begin the show. Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome to a live stream that has been uh, quite a while in the making. I'm honest with you, it's been it's been too long. I had some real issues with those intro videos not rolling when they were supposed to. And uh, that caused a, a plethora of issues. Do we have audio in-game? We do. Okay, good. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Blood Elf just subscribed! Oh my gosh, what a way to start off a stream! Thank you so much. <laughs> you are the boss. <gasps> Everyone could hear that, correct? Uh, the ha ha ha, I'm a boss? We haven't had a text-to-speech message in a while. Just wanted to make sure it was audible. I certainly heard it. But I wanted to make sure everyone else could hear it because we did have some audio issues previously. So, how are you folks doing today? Goodness gracious, welcome back, welcome back. Hal Rondo, Hazard Creeper, Blood Elf, uh, Real Laszlo, how are you all doing today? Uh, Y'all kept the chat going, even when I was trying to... Oh, you didn't hear it. Slide audio delay? Uh, between, what, my mouth and the... Oh, hold on, we'll look, I'll just take a look here. Slide audio delay? Uh, between... What? That is an audio delay, you're right. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. You might have to refresh the screen. Oh gosh, you know what I'm gonna have to do? This is gonna get weird looking here for a second, but I think what I'm gonna have to do is, uh... <laughs> Alright. You're not gonna be able to hear me for a second. And it's going to look really weird, okay? Just so you know. Just, just hold on a second. Oh. Okay, so like I said, you might have to refresh the page, uh, but it's possible though that uh, that maybe now the latency is gone. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to watch myself talk a bit. That uh, that maybe now the latency is gone. I'm not certainly reduced. Certainly, certainly reduced. It's good for you now. I think that there's a bit of latency still, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to work that out in post. What I'll probably end up doing is putting this video in a timeline and adjusting the audio in the timeline to figure out where it needs to be and then making the proper adjustments in OBS later on. Because I have noticed that there is always a slight delay. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse, but I'm gonna have to nail down how to fix that definitively. All right, well, today, with that out of the way, we are going to play Yoshi on the Nintendo Switch. So last night, I completed, well, it, as far as I'm going to complete Pokemon and Eevee, I beat the Elite Four, I captured Mewtwo, I beat Green, and I was like, well, uh, that was my first Pokemon. It's a good experience. I'm happy with it. I'm going to set it aside now because Yoshi came out yesterday. I do have a Pokemon video about my first time playing this game that still hasn't been released. It's been sitting on my computer for a while now. I need to edit it. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. I've already beaten the game and the first video on it hasn't even gone out yet. And it's not a full playthrough, uh, by the way. I has been lied to, Hal Rondo? Who has been lying to you? No idea whatsoever. Uh, let's see if he knows it's a five-month streak. How would I find that information? Listen, Twitch is a thing that I use and continue to not understand. So, uh, that's the nature of things. You said it wasn't a Yarn Yoshi game. It's not. It's uh, Yoshi's Crafted World, which is not Yoshi's Woolly World, which is the Yarn game. This one's about cardboard, I think. Nintendo's very into cardboard these days. You got your cardboard VR, you got your cardboard boxing robot, and you got your cardboard Yoshi now, or, or Yashi, if you live in Australia, as I understand it. Or it might just be the few Australian podcasts I listen to that call him Yashi. Maybe the entire country doesn't. Maybe it's just some sort of conspiracy by those particular podcasters to make the rest of us think that they all talk like that when in fact they don't. I don't know. I don't live in Australia. I, I couldn't tell you one way or the other. Uh, the Yashi is still made of yarn? I don't think that he is in this one. I, I honestly don't think that he is. We'll find out, though. Chat? Yashi? What? No? 
What? All right, look, we've got to determine what mode we're going to play on. So we got mellow mode. This makes the game a little breezier and relaxed, which is my kind of experience. Uh, being the type of person who excels at video games when no one's watching, but utterly fails to pay attention when live streaming. Mellow mode sounds nice. It sounds mellow. It sounds it sounds relaxed. But uh, we can hop into classic mode, which is recommended for experienced players. This is not my first Yoshi game. I've played Yoshi before many times. Uh, I've played the original. I definitely played it on a, a Game Boy Advance or something like that. It wasn't an emulation or anything like that. I wouldn't have done that. I've also played the DS game. I think I'm ready for classic mode. And you can change your play style whenever you like. So if this is a horrible idea, no worries. We're hopping into Crafted World. I'm excited. You should all be excited. Reese, go extreme mode? <laughs> it's GIF, not Yoshi. Good point. Good point. You got a point. Uh, this is the lovely island of the Yoshis. At the topmost peak of the island sits a glistening gem set wonder known as the Sun Dream Stone. Legends say that the Sun Dream Stone possesses the power to make anyone's wildest dreams come true. One fine day, I had to get into my narrator voice there. <laughs> yes, my game is too quiet. There we go. It's going to be quiet for you. Baby Bowser and Kamek caught wind of the Sundream Stone and made their way to the island. <laughs> Will it be taking that? I don't know which one of them said that. I'm going to assume it's Kimmick, so that's his voice now. Or, I don't know, I guess that could have been Baby Bowser. Hi, I'm Baby Bowser. I'm coming to steal all of your possessions. Baby Bowser or Bowser Jr.? I think this is Bowser Jr. Baby Bowser is Bowser but a baby uh, from back in time. So it's a different villain. But then also there's time travel in the Mario universe. There's all sorts of madness going on. You can never really nail down what's happening. Wow, 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 that voice. That's what the ladies say when I say that. Like, Oh, hi there. Would you like to go out with me this afternoon? We could have some fun together. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. This is Baby Bowser? Really? Okay, well, if you say so. I mean, I did read it myself, so you'd think I'd know, but obviously I've forgotten already. Oh, the poor Yoshi seem to be lost. Oh, little Yoshi, what are you gonna do? Oh, look at the sunstone, sad! Oh my, the dream gems, they're all gone! I'm really excited for this. The sun dream stone isn't looking too hot now. Baby Bowser and Bowser Boot Jr. both work for Junior. The Mario and Mario's partner in time... Mario and Luigi partners in time makes a distinction for its games. Okay, all right. With that voice, how could I say no? Exactly, Bad Wolf. How could you say no? How could you say no to this voice? Hazard says, Reese, you spoopy. All right. Well, that's something I'm not going to look up on Urban Dictionary later today because I don't want to know what spoopy means. I don't want to know why you're calling me spoopy. Tickle me, Elmo. Tickle me! <laughs> Tickle me harder. Mm. Yoshi! Okay. How many Yoshi should go? Oh, I didn't know this was a multiplayer game. Oh, man, where's Jenna when you need her? Okay, we'll go in with one, because I don't think I can control two by myself. Although, that would be a fun experiment. I've got a second controller. I could try to, like, spider my way through it. Which Yoshi? Oh, okay, well, we got the traditional green Yoshi. We got a red one. I want a blue one. I'm a big fan of blue, although I guess my room is orange. What, what do you folks think? I, I need y'all to tell me which one to go with. The options are blue or orange. I'm not taking any of the other options, okay? If you say red, if you say pink, if you say green, I'm ignoring you. I need you to help me decide between the two primary howdy folks colors. They're on either side of the spectrum here. Blue and orange. That's, that's like the colors of our logo and everything. Light blue says bad wolf. I'm agreeing with that one. Why you gotta say pink, blood elf? Hazard creeper, why you saying pink? I might not be able to watch for too long, since live streams seem to drain my battery a lot. Real Laszlo. Uh, maybe someday when I'm partner, we'll be able to like set a lower quality on, on your phone and it won't use as much battery. You love the color pink. I mean, I do. Look, I've gotten one legitimate vote for light blue. So, that's what I'm doing. That's what we're going to go with. I see that just now, Hazard Creeper changed the vote to orange. But it's too late. I've chosen blue. That's... That we're just gonna roll with it. It should be a good time. It's settled then. Oh, look at us. We're marching along so proud of ourselves. 
The rest of the Yashis will stay and protect the Sundream Stone. It'll be safe and sound. No, it won't. They've already failed to defend it the one time. Why are they going to do a better job this time? You were all there. You saw it happen. This swooped in and like... Is this baby? Okay. That thing looks like it's seen better days. Yeah, without its gems, it seems the stone has lost all its power. Useless. Then we'd better get moving and find the gems before the Yoshis do. Ugh. I'm glad that there's not a lot of dialogue in this game. Otherwise, that would be the end of me. I don't have any tea with honey to coat my throat. So... Okay. I like the music so far. I love a Yashi game. Please understand that this isn't going to be a playthrough on the channel. We're not going to live stream this more than just this one time. This is just sort of a... Uh, a just a bite live, if you will. I just really like Yoshi games. I know that they're not like the best Nintendo has to offer, but I do really, really enjoy them. And I thought it would just be fun to uh, to hop along and play. So I haven't played any of the newer ones. Like I said, the newest one I've played is Yoshi's Island DS, which was released on the original DS. Come on, get him. What are you doing? What What is this? Okay, what button to throw? There we go. Excellent. Um, oh, you can go inside of here. Okay, so they've gone with a cardboard aesthetic, which obviously you should know. It's called Crafted World. I don't... He doesn't look yarn-like to me at all. Someone was saying he was yarn-like earlier. I, I don't think that's the case. Oh, fun stuff. So what have you folks been up to? Well, I just sort of sit back and enjoy this... Okay, I liked the music at first, but it's a bit piercing now. <laughs> Maybe I had it up too loud, but it was like... What, what determines how far that tongue's gonna go? Oh, I see. We just can't tongue these guys. We're gonna have to, like, hit them. That's fine. What are our alternate controls? Okay, so you can aim using... Oh, you can crouch? And you can aim using the shoulder buttons, too. Or you can go to throw. Why is this reminding me of the voice you gave Kyrie in the beginning of Kingdom Hearts? Sora! Sora, it's me, Kyrie! Sora, come rescue me! I love you! Me six finally went through? Wow. Wow, the delays on that are serious. After gobbling up an enemy... Oh, yeah, 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 no, I get the game. I, I get it, game. I know what I'm doing. Can we go down the tube? No, we can't. Oh, of course we can't. It's made of a... I'm not going to read those anymore, because I feel like I've got... Oh, good gosh, I should have read it! I was probably going to warn me about that. Goodness gracious. All right. Oh, nice. All right. Good thing we can pass through solid objects, otherwise I'd be stuck back there right now. And that would be a real situation. I hope they don't throw anything at me like uh, a timed event. Where I've only got a certain amount of time to react to something. Because goodness knows that's not going to work out. I don't do well in those situations. Okay, how do you aim at something in the foreground? Oh. Oops, wrong button. Neato. Okay, but how do I aim at that cloud up there? Maybe we don't. <laughs> Maybe that's the secret. Maybe we run over here and then we do it. Alright. That's what I get, I guess, for trying to be clever. Uh... Reese, I've been playing a lot on the server. Blood Elf dug a hole. What, like a really big hole or something? I mean, you make that sound like it's a, a unique thing to do in the Minecraft. I'm pretty sure most people who play Minecraft dig big holes. I'm out of eggs. Hold on. This will do it first. Yeah, there we go, baby. We'll get every uh, color of egg from the rainbow. Yeah, so I'm planning on doing another live stream tonight where we play on the server a bit more. And, of course, that'll probably be streamed over on YouTube. But, uh, oh, look at that. He's playing with, like, a little butterfly. Well, now he's dead. I killed him dead, which is a tragedy. But, uh, and there's a cow. So, of course, we talked about this during the last Minecraft livestream. Uh, about the different equestrian creatures. Cows, horses, buffalo, llamas, alpaca. And all of them, you know, pushing really hard with their... Oh, what are they called? I've forgotten the term again. Uh, the people who go and they, like... They're, they're like in government, and they're, well, they're not in government, but they try to use money to sway government opinion. Lobbyists, that's it. I guess cow lobbyists were going overtime on this game, trying to make sure they were properly represented in this game. Which, hey, you know what? I mean, some people might take issue with that, but good on them, if I'm being real. Because cows, I think, are really underrepresented. I mean, we mostly just eat them, we milk them. We don't really talk about how the West was won on cows. Uh, alpaca, of course, were the primary choice for cowboys, but if you didn't have a lot of money... I mean, where do you think the term cowboy came from? You herded cattle? No, no. If you were a cowboy, more often than not, you rode around on a cow. 
Uh, some people rode on bulls. You get the big horns, which are good, you know, if you want to take life by the horns. You can just guide them right into the open ranges and uh, fight the, the engines and go looking for gold. Uh, a lot of people say the West was won on Alpaca, but I would say that the cowboy atop his mighty cow also did. Uh, it also contributed quite a bit to that. Also, uh, the West is very cold. It's known for being uh, darn right freezing 24-7, so if it weren't for all of the cowhide, they would have all froze to death, because of course cowhide is great for insulation. Sort of. Really what you want to do is get a nice, like, skin-tight leather outfit. This is what most of the cowboys wore. And the skin-tight leather, it doesn't allow your skin to breathe. So you get real hot and uncomfortable, but it keeps you warm in the, the frigid western winters. Without a working train, you're dead in your trucks! Oh, good luck finding the missing parts! That's the new accent for that, I suppose. So, yeah, if you're ever freezing in the wilderness and you need to keep yourself warm, you gotta get some skin-tight leather. It's the only way to go. He just killed a cow. Well, I mean, that's what the cowboys would do. That's, that's what they would do. Those underrepresented cows. Look, I'm just here to represent the cows, you know? Somebody needs to... I mean, not necessarily cheer for them, because I don't think they, they need that... But someone needs to to speak of the, the high virtue of the cow. Also, I'm getting a ton of life out here that I don't feel I need. These voices, I'm dead. <laughs> what? This is some of my like high quality voice acting work here. This is the sort of stuff I send to Disney. You know, I'm just like, hey, I hear you guys are making a new Frozen. Uh, I mean, look, if you need any baby voices, I'm there for you. I can do this one. I can do this one. I'm also real good with accents. Uh, what do you want? What do you want to hear? I have my vaguely European accent, which is just straight up bad Italian. We did that in a Stoneblock livestream the other day. I was like, uh, vaguely European. It's me, I'm a very vaguely European. It's just, I, I don't know why, I just went full on Mario, but bad Mario. Like Mario if he had no traditional training as a voice actor, uh, and was really bad at doing accents is what that was. Reese missed a part of the train. We're gonna go back, don't even worry about it. We're, th I think these levels are pretty small. And I kind of want to explore them as well as I can before we move on. So is that a salt shaker back there? I mean, it's a bit weird. It's not a salt shaker. It says iced on it. Is that like an iced coffee? Oh, okay. I, it looks like it might be an iced coffee. Can we have a sit on the bench? No, we can't. All right, let's go back and take a look at the train. I don't want Blood Elf to get worried. I think I showed you my Yashi impression, Reese. Hal Rondo, you did. You definitely did. I think that that's in a video that you can go watch on the channel right now. Entitled, was it Kingdom Hearts 3 Discussion? What did we call it? I can't remember now. Uh, that was a fun time. Boy, that was a long time ago now, too. I can't wait to get back and start playing that game. Jenna and I, I think we might be able to... And I don't want to make like any promises. Press X? Oh. What? Am I throwing... Why would I throw this? What, what, why would I do that? Am I supposed to do this? Oh, we're building a train! Ho oh, ho! Maybe that's what they meant earlier when they were talking about how we're stuck here without a train. That would check out actually quite a bit. Okay, so nobody get your hopes up, but Jenna and I have discussed maybe if we have some free time tomorrow doing a stream. Uh, which could be a good time. We, we want to stream Kingdom Hearts 3. And that would be good because that means that I can go back to streaming Kingdom Hearts 3 regularly afterward. Because we're waiting to do The Tangled World with Jenna. Because that's her favorite Disney movie. Uh, she absolutely loves it. And I would feel awful doing it without her. And I don't want to go back and do it again, right? Like, I could come... Oh, I didn't get him. I could go back and just do the world... Or I could do the world in the stream and then just go back and explore it again later. But one of her favorite Disney characters of all time is Flynn Rider. Of course, voiced by Zachary Levi, who also voices him in the game. And I don't think you'd get that if you didn't play through the story. Uh, even though the story is not one of my favorites. Like, it's it's one of the weaker ones in the game, for sure. Not as weak as the Frozen stuff. But the Frozen, really, the story isn't the problem. It's the entire world as a whole, and the fact that it exists. Can I throw this thing at this guy? Wow! It's like a reusable weapon here. Also, I think I see what you meant by missing part of the train. There must be another part back here somewhere that I didn't pick up. That one. That one right there. Is that what you meant, Blood Elf? It was after the discussion? Oh, so it wasn't even included in the video. Did I stop recording? I guess so. Otherwise, I would've thrown it in there as like a blooper reel. Because I'm, I'm just the sort of guy to do something like that. It is iced coffee. I guess, you know what, America runs on coffee. It makes sense that trains would also run on coffee. Now, iced coffee? 
odd decision. Usually trains use like steam to be powered, and I think that iced water or iced coffee would sort of work against that, but I'm not an expert. I've only ever watched Thomas the Tank Engine for my entire life, so I don't really know much about real trains. But if these trains are being like cheeky and they need someone to straighten them out, I'm there. I know what to do in that situation. I'm, I'm totally prepared for that. Recent May... Uh, May Meka gave me permission to expand on her land on the server. That's very kind. That's very, very kind. Is it... There is a way if you have... Like, uh, you say her land. Is it land that she owns? Like, she has the the, the rights to it? The land rights to it? What, what is it called? There, there's a mod on there that, that puts protections on there. And there is a way to share protected land between users. Uh, you have to do a command or something, I believe. Is that what you're talking about? Or did you just get real close to her base? And she was like, yeah, it's cool. I did see that discussion going on. Yeah, be sure to check out the video if you want rants on Fro- Oh, no, I missed out! Oh! oh, I'm not paying attention! What else am I missing out here? Oh, can I ride the train again? I'm gonna have to do this level again now, because I missed one of the flowers. I'm a big fan of uh, completion on these things. Can I fly over that? Ah, oh, I broke it anyway. Well, we did it, everyone. We completed the first level. Yeah, so our discussion video is three hours long, or two hours long. Two or three hours. It was a long, long video. I'll tell you that much. I actually sat down. I was like, okay, I'm going to edit this down. I'm going to get it as short as I could. And I ended up cutting out basically nothing. Uh, I don't think I, I cut out a couple of weird mic sounds because every so often I would pop my mic or, or how would uh, do something to his mic. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll edit those out. Uh, but that was all that I cut out. I just left the whole thing going. It's two hours long. It's crazy. But it's great. If you liked Kingdom Hearts 3 and you want to hear other people babble on about how they liked Kingdom Hearts 3 or disliked certain elements of it, like the Frozen World, by all means, go watch that. Yes! Walker Hound, they did give us the option... Hi, by the way. They did give us the option to choose any colored Yoshi we wanted. We went blue. I don't know if we can change now. Can we go into the menu? So, choose a Yoshi. We could. We could change our Yoshi right now. I don't... I mean, it's not like this is an RPG, and we're going to lose all of our levels if we switch out to, like, let's say, the orange Yoshi real quick. We can go in there with that. Yoshi! So, we can hop in there with him for the next level. <laughs> Imagine if it was an RPG, though. Imagine if we went to the next level and got creamed because we were, uh, we were under-leveled because we weren't... Pl oh, can we just skip ahead to the next level? I don't know if that's... Like, appropriate. It certainly looks like... Oh. I'm wiped. Oh, no, I've already done that voice. Oh, I'm warped out. If only I had a smiley flower. Oh. We'll give him a smiley flower. Did that not work? Did I, did I do it wrong? Oh, I see, I did. Okay, give him the smiley flower. So he's just there to gate uh, progression. I bet you're going to need more than one moving forward, though. Like, the next one's probably going to need a thousand of them. That's a big number, though. Blue is your favorite? Blue is my favorite, too. Blue is my favorite color. Followed closely by, uh... By orange. I do like orange. I painted this room orange instead of blue, because orange is supposed to make you feel more alert and awake as a color. You know, with the light streaming in your eyes, whereas blue is more relaxing. And I was like, okay, I don't want to be falling asleep while I'm editing or recording or anything. So, there you go. There's a moment when my mom walked in, and I just turned and signaled her out. <laughs> I signed out, signed her out that I couldn't be interrupted before she even said anything. I missed that. I didn't even catch that happen. I know that you were eating steak at the beginning of it, though. That wasn't included, so I was recording that bit, and I was like, do I leave the part where Rondo mentions that he's eating steak in the live stream? Probably not. Lucky Ludo, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Uh, welcome to your octopus docks. Yarr! Your octo- okay. Phew! I feel so much better after that smiley flower. I'm Finn, the flower fan. Finn Blockefeller. If you're feeling formal, how you doing? Yoshi! Yoshi, is it? What are you doing here? I'm pretty close to the Yoshi voice. It's such a gem, huh? Hmm. Well, I did see some shimmering in the sky that landed off of me. Let me see. Pretty sure Vel's somewhere over there. 
You follow this rule, but then you're sure to find it. All right. Measure the luck. Thank you. Of course, we're not. We're, we're going to go back. No, no, let's go back. Because we skipped a level back here. Uh, I don't want to skip any levels. Insert a coin and turn the lever to make a costume roll out. You never know what you'll get. What? After you get your costume, head to the costume screen to try it on. Oh, okay, so is this not a level? Level? Okay, all right, you know what? That's fine. I'm ready for this. Let's go. We're gonna do a bit of gambling here and hopefully get a sick prize. Orange works for that room. It also works for your branding with the orange howdy. Yeah. There's also a blue folks, so I put my two favorite colors in that logo. I'm doing okay, Lucky. Thank you for asking. I microwaved that afterward and ate it. It was still good. Steak is good. Like, steak is always good. Alright, what are we going to get out of this? Is this worth spending all of our money on? Or is there anything else to spend money on anyway? Like, we might as well just get costumes out of here. Okay. Can I wear a box of caramel? I doubt it. Does that go into our costumes box? Really? It does. Wear costumes to look cool and, most importantly, to protect yourself. But they break down with damage, so be careful out there. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm into this. Let's get another one. We could dress ourselves up in cardboard. They can look like little homeless children. It'll be fun. You guys ever read the boxcar children? I know cardboard, boxcar, very loosely connected there. But, uh, oh, it's a cow one! Cows truly were the heroes of uh, Western American life. Again, they carried the cowboys, they kept them warm in their skin-tight outfits. We'll wear that as soon as we break this other one. I read the boxcar children, though, and I really wanted to live in a boxcar. Uh, again, the cardboard boxes aesthetic is just what made me think of that for some reason. I was talking to a friend the other day about the boxcar children, uh, so that also put it on my mind. So we've got a couple options here. I think this is just talking to this guy again. This is a world, right? I feel pretty definitive that this is an actual location. Now that I have my new computer, I can start doing my own stuff. But I have a few potential collab ideas for later on, says Hal Rondo. Well, how, how is your computer going, by the way? I've lost track of you and Nate on the Discord. I know that you're both doing PC builds. I believe Nate's finished. How is yours coming along? Is, is everything working good? Uh, oh, oh, okay. We've got to spit this guy back at him, unfortunately. You can't turn him into an egg. I guess you don't want to shell yet. Well, no, all eggs are shelled. What am I saying? This guy, though. There we go. PC building is fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, there was a time when I was considering spending some money on upgrading the capture PC a wee little bit. Like, I've already done it a bit. But I was getting really frustrated with the USBs not working correctly. And I was like, do I just need to get, like, a high-end motherboard? Maybe maybe now's the time to go to Threadripper. But it was going to cost so much money. Uh, and then also, there was the termite situation. I was like, you know what? Maybe now's not the best time for something like that. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. However... I talked about this with the patron supporters. Uh, depending on how this whole termite situation, for those of you not in the know, uh, I, I have termites in my house. There's an inspector coming by Monday to discuss how bad it is and what we need to do to deal with it. But depending on how expensive or hopefully not expensive that turns out to be, uh, I'm thinking about getting a PlayStation VR set. And I know PlayStation VR isn't like the best VR set, but they do have all the games that I'm interested in playing in VR are on PSVR, and it's substantially cheaper. Uh, and I think it'd just be really fun to do some content in VR. Like, what about that shark experience they have? That's that's the main reason I want to get it, because I want to face my fear of sharks in a VR experience. Well, my fear of video game sharks. I don't know if it's applicable, though. Because, like, it's, it's a video game shark, right? But it's in first person. And I've already explained that I'm not scared of sharks in real life, only in video games. So my concern is that I'm going to start this game up, and then... Boom, I figured we'd get a red coin out of that, or something at least. Then I won't be scared of it, because it's like a real-life experience instead of an in-a-video game one. And then I'll play a video game with sharks in it, thinking that I've cured myself of my sickness, my my fear. And it's just going to all come rushing back to me. And I'm going to lose all my subscribers, because I'm just going to have some sort of on-screen panic attack. I don't know, it just seems like a bad idea. Also, now i got to work my way downhill here without being taken out by this, uh, this shell. Oh gosh, where did it go? That's scary. Okay, so is that... I, I didn't figure out what that was before, but is that just like a mid-level checkpoint? I wasn't tracking very well. wasn't tracking at all. Reese Spoopy is like spooky. Exotic, it sounds better. 
Oh, all right, if you say so. I don't know, it sounds like something out of an Urban Dictionary thing, but... Oh, okay, all right. Time trials. Oof! Nice! We got our first flower, everyone. Or our second flower, actually. Is it weird that I actually understand all this techie stuff now? No, that's not weird at all. That's fantastic to hear. It's good to be uh, in the know about tech stuff, because otherwise you're sort of relying on other people to tell you everything you need to know about tech. And you can never tell if they're telling you the truth or if they're trying to push an agenda on you. Like, oh yeah, your computer definitely has a virus. Let me, uh... Ooh, goodness gracious. Let me go ahead and remove that for you for a thousand dollars. No, I don't think anyone ever charges that much. But my parents did used to spend like we got a, vi a virus on their they 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 got a virus on their computer. The the reason I'm saying this this is going into a story. Just give it a second. We're gonna get there. Uh, they spent a lot of money having it fixed because they didn't trust at the time twelve year old me to fix it. Even though I was like, guys, I I'm pretty sure I know how to fix this. Is this not a thing that I can shoot through? It looks vaguely hollow, but I guess not. Wait a minute. Oh, I see what you gotta do. Ha ha! Oh, good. Very good. Um, so anyway, it's good to know things about tech yourself so you can, like, fix your own problems. You're not relying on other people telling you, like, what's wrong with your stuff and, and having to, like, trust them to get it fixed. That's the same way I feel about car stuff. I think that a lot of... The reason I think a lot of people distrust mechanics is because a lot of people just don't understand how cars work. And therefore, it's like, I don't... I can't tell if they're being genuine, and therefore I will assume that they're not. Which, I mean, fair enough. I think everyone's probably had at least one bad experience with the mechanic. Uh, I haven't. But then again, I, I, I very rarely use a mechanic. My dad used to be a mechanic. So anytime there's something wrong with my car, more often than I'll just ask him, like, Dad, what do you think's wrong with it? And can we fix it? And so far, that's worked. Now, if, like, the transmission goes out... All right, it needs to, to get a new motor, and by new motor, I mean a, a used, modestly refurbished motor. Uh, I'm going to be at someone else's, someone else's, what, what is the, they're going to have to have someone else do it for me, because I'm not about to try to do that. I mean, I've got an engine hoist, or my dad does, but I don't want to try to drop my own engine and replace it. Goodness gracious. There's so much could go wrong there particularly because I've never done it before and I don't really have any experience with it. My dad was a mechanic, but he never really did things like that either. And then a lot of things has changed. Lots lots of stuff has changed. He was he stopped being a mechanic nearly, what, 15 years ago? Uh, cars are very different now. There's a lot of electronics involved in them. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. How do I get rid of this thing? There's a flower down there that I want to get to, but I have no idea how. Okay. I just want to throw out there that we haven't gotten hit since we started this, I don't think. So good job us. This armor is completely useless though. I think if you complete the Oh no, we did get hit. Oh, we got hit by a puffer fish earlier. That's right. I was going to say if you complete the level with full health, I think you get a bonus. I wasn't paying enough attention last time to know if that's accurate. But it certainly seems like it would be, right? Like why would it not be? Also, we have this armor on. So it wouldn't have affected our health anyway, right? Also, I'm not reading the chat at all, and I apologize. What is CPU? That's a great question. So CPU stands for Central Processing... Uh, oh, man, I was trying to think of a joke, but then I just kept going with it, and I ended up saying the right thing too much, and I didn't know where to go with the, the end. Because the U stands for unit, and I was like, what, utensil? Yeah, utensil. It stands for Central Processing Utensil. It's basically a spoon that you stick inside of your computer, and uh, you use that spoon to do like, difficult calculations uh, about, like, where food can be purchased and whatnot. So anytime you do a Google for restaurants in your area, it's using that CPU, that central processing utensil, to locate restaurants around you. Gosh, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. I regret saying any of that. My apologies, everyone. I can do better with my gags. And in the future, I will strive to do better with my gags. Central Processing Universe? Yeah, that's it. Uh, the uh, simulation that we live in actually has a, a centrally processed universe. As opposed to, you know, the original simulation that we were in. A lot of you don't remember it. We called it the 90s. It had multiple smaller processing universes. And sometimes you would cross over into different ones and, like, you would get Berenstain Bears and then Berenstein Bears. And that caused a lot of issues. So they moved us to a central processing universe. And uh, the simulation is far more believable now. I, for instance, Deja Vu has gone down at least 6% since uh, that happened. We're going to die! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Goodness gracious. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, yeah, cases of deja vu have dropped drastically ever since we did that, which is... Are you shrekking me right now? I need to stop trying to compensate. I need to just go for it. We're all out of armor now. Oh, we're just a bare naked Yoshi running through the world. It's fine. There we go. No, I've got to do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna do no, 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 no mistakes for me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Oh, deja vu is down a lot because I don't think we have to reload from previous saves as much on the central processing universe. So that's great. Uh, 10 out of 10 gag reads. Thank you so much, Hazard. Ugh, we did it. That got too intense for a Yoshi game. That right there got a little too intense for my taste. Yoshi shouldn't be that difficult. I would have said Umbrella. You missed my mini PC update. Oh, I did, didn't I? I'm gonna go back and find it. Don't worry about it. How Rondo. Ooh, Boxcar Children was good when I was a kid. That's good, that's good. Uh, it wasn't a question, lol, anyway. I need to install my OS. Okay. Was that the update on the computer? I guess so. Yeah, get your OS in there. What are you going to be using? Windows 10 is obviously the favorite for gaming. Well, I mean, no one's happy with it, but it's kind of what you have to use. You could always go Hackintosh if you want to edit videos in Final Cut. It's what I've, I've done on my most recent PC build was a Hackintosh. You could do a, a little mix of everything, you know, stick a few different drives in there. And just when you boot, spam that delete key and choose a different boot drive, and boom, you could have like seven different OS's on that computer. The Hackintosh I have does have a second SSD in it for booting into Windows for when Jenna comes over and records, but hopefully in the future we'll be able to not do that and just have her her own computer. My brother keeps talking about upgrading his. I talked him into waiting for Zen 2 to come out, so Ryzen 3000 series. And uh, we should have changed our Yashi color now that I think about it. So he's waiting on that, but once he does, I'm going to get his old computer parts and possibly build like a, a new guest PC. Because, heaven knows, I'm not about to pay full price for new parts. I mean, it's a good time to buy PC parts. Everything's fairly affordable, but when I can just buy his used parts... Why? Right? You bought a disc for it, but my computer doesn't have a disc drive, so I need a USB drive now. Um, I mean, you could just, you, you, they, they have on the Windows 10 website, or in the, the Microsoft website, that they have a download utility that you can use that, you know, instead of, uh, I think you just download the ISO file, and then so long as you have a key, you're good to go. That's what I normally do, because I definitely buy all of my Windows 10 copy licenses and whatnot. I've got, actually, I don't think I've ever bought Windows 10. I've bought Windows 7, and I bought Windows 8, and then I've only ever just upgraded those to 10. Now, that was back when it was free. Yeah, I think you have to pay now to upgrade, so I guess in the future I will have to buy Windows 10 as opposed to just getting 7 or 8 and upgrading. I don't know, the other day my friend Trace told me that you could still do a free upgrade from 7 to 10. Like, that when Microsoft said that they disabled that, but apparently they, they actually haven't, or there's a way around it. I, I wouldn't know. I haven't tried. But I think that's what we did with Steven's computer, actually. So I was present in the room when that happened. Or, you know what it might be? I think you can use a 7 key to activate Windows 10. Maybe that's it. I think that's what we did with Steven's computer. So my friend Steven built his first gaming PC last year in my living room. His poor wife had to come over with him, and she tried to read a book while the rest of us nerds put together his computer and talked about nerdy things. Bless her heart. She's a sweetheart, though. I like her. Sweet! Look at all those coinages. Ryzen Threadripper 1920X was on sale the other day. Scooped one up for 275 Good grief, that's really good. See, I'd be interested in getting a first-gen Ryzen CPU. You know, like, oh, well, why not get the newer ones? Well, the main reason I want a Ryzen CPU has nothing to do with the massive core counts. I could care less about that. You know, I don't need huge core counts for the capture PC. What I do need is... Can I pick these up? Okay, yeah, these aren't going to hurt me. Good. What I do need is PCIe lanes, like a lot of them. And I think... Ryzen, based on, I think it's a limitation of the AM4 socket, you can only get like 24 PCIe lanes, whereas, isn't there something like 40 on a Threadripper? It's crazy, so you can plug in so many expansion slots, or expansion cards, into one of those. It's, it's absolutely bananas. So that's what I would want one for, is for those huge uh, PCIe lane numbers. That That's crazy, because I actually, some of you remember I bought, an expansion card for my PC, we talked about this the other day, which would give me a second dedicated USB 3 controller, and I pulled it out, and I went to install it on my computer, and that's the moment I realized that, like a fool, 
I hadn't actually checked to see if I had an open slot on my computer. I thought that I did. I thought I had an open, because it's a, a, a 4X card that I got. I was like, well, I've got an open 16X slot on my computer. It'll be fine. But I don't. I forgot that the capture card that I've got, the, um, what, Avermedia 4K, is a force, uh, 4X card, and it's in the last 16X slot that I have. I don't have anything to shoot these guys with! Hold on, I can't- Up! Ah, Up! Ah, Up! Ah. <laughs> Can we just stay down here? How much time do I have? Ah! 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 Dadgummit! What a loss. I'll have to come back and do that again. Uh, it's fine. It's not that big a- Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, we could have just come down here and loaded it up. It would have been fine. So now I have a USB 3.1 4X card that I can't use on my computer because I have no more PCIe slots and I have no more. How did I activate that last time? Was there something over here I had to hit? I'm probably just going to have to do the level again. Or die. But I don't want to do that. That seems a bit extreme. Also, I shouldn't have done that. I should have collected him and used him as a projectile weapon. Why am I so bad at Yoshi games? This is like the easiest thing in the planet. I should be just flying through this. I am, after all, a professional video gameser who does the video games professionally. Okay. Can we jump in tongue? Oh, we can't jump in. Well, I mean, we probably could jump in tongue, but I did it wrong. Oh, gosh. How do I get to that? How do I get to that one down there? I'm not going to admit defeat yet. Reese, I'd okay what you're saying. I don't know what I'm saying anymore either. I'm just saying nonsense. Reese playing Yoshi games and talking about computer stuff. This is normal. This is what most people do when they play Yoshi games. So what I gotta do is I gotta get down here. Throw that! Yes! Oh, MVP game player right there. It was a one-day flash sale on Amazon. See, now my only issue is, I mean, that's a great deal, but you also have to get a, a TR4. Was it TRS4, I think? Motherboard? I can't remember what the actual socket name is, but you have to get a Threadripper motherboard. Those things aren't cheap, uh, so it's you know be a, it's going to be a while before I do an upgrade like that. But of course, Threadripper three is going to be coming out soon, so those original Threadripper CPUs will probably go down in price even further, which is fun to think about. One thing that I would like to do is get a board with an integrated 10 gigabit network port, because right now I have to have an expansion card in there for 10 gigabit networking. And, you know, as many networking bays, or as many PCIe slots as I can free up, the better. Because I would like to stick, like, 12 4K capture cards in there, and then capture uh, 12 4K sources all at once. Not really, I'm making that up. Would be good, though, because one of the things I'd like to do is... You can run two instances of OBS at once, and use it to record two separate screens. Which is what I would like to do when Jenna and I record, so we could have those two separate files and switch between them afterward. Now, I could just, you know, record mine on the capture PC and then record her using uh, NVIDIA Shadow Player or, or whatever, but I'd rather not, especially since her computer's going to be a little bit weaker than mine. I don't, look, it's all up in the air how these things are going to work out. Okay, alright. This is a boss fight. We're in the middle of a boss fight with this guy. And so far, it's going pretty well. I think I, did I defeat him? No, he's back! He's back and he's angry! Oh, dadgummit. I was, I was thinking maybe I could hit that and it would do something, but it definitely doesn't, unfortunately. Whoa, yo! Yoshi, no. Get him! Oh, now he's gone for good. That's the old three times you're out trick. We did it! We defeated our first boss! Oh, this game is so pleasant. Hey, Reese, any advice on my last comment? Well, what was your last comment? There... I have to somehow get that to my computer, right? So that's why I need a USB. You do need a USB, yes. What I was saying is you didn't need to buy a disc. Uh, you could buy the license online from their website and just download it. But uh, yeah, USB drive. I think they also have the tool on the website, Microsoft website, that you need to create the install, like the install utility to turn the drive into a bootable drive. It should be pretty quick, though. It, it loads real fast. You're not supposed to be able to upgrade from 7 anymore? Yeah, you're not supposed to be, but I think you still can. Oh, this guy again. Oh, hell yeah, I like octopus ducks. So much to see, huh? I've been hoping for a local souvenir. I'd love a flatfish, please. Let me help you out. This fellow is pretty sizable and dwells on the ocean floor. If you see one, just hoss an egg at that sucker. Okay, sure thing. I'll be sure to do that. Does it give me any 
clue where I need to go do that? I mean, presumably here. Yeah, okay. Need to go there to get him that. We're not going to do that right now. What we are going to do is hopefully get ourselves a new costume to take into the next world. I don't know how long we're going to be playing this, by the way, guys. Uh, I can, hey, okay, now easy does it. Let's, let's not be so loud. No need to get aggressive about that phone. What are you doing? Open? Does anyone else have a problem with their phone where you can't open it if your thumb's got like a thin sheen of sweat on it? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Insert coin. I mean, we're actually inserting a hundred of them, but all right. How big a USB do you think I'll need? I think 16 gig is what you need, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, Microsoft will tell you when you download the utility what size you need, but I'm pretty sure it's just 16 gig. Because uh, there's not much to Windows 10. Once you install it or start the installation process, if you have an internet connection, it'll download a bunch of updates and stuff to the computer itself, not to the drive. So it gets like bigger as it downloads. But Okay, so we got ourselves a pirate ship. Uh, oh, the box is back. I didn't realize that we could reuse it. I thought that once it was done, it was done. But I see now. So do you get a different one every single time you do this? How many can we collect? Could I change that number up there from one to two and get like two in one go? I'm learning all kinds of things here, guys. I feel highly educated. Hey, we got a lighthouse. It's a normal. All right. So we've got 300 coins left. We can. Okay, 300 coins. Is that going to give us three of them, or is that going to give us a unique, you spent a lot of money on this one sort of cost? No, it is going to give us three. All right. Oh, you know what? It's running out of eggs as we go. So I guess each one probably has a set amount that you can get out of it, and they're always going to be different. Hey, we got Nemo. I found him, everyone. And we got some coffee creamer. Sure. And a blowfish. Oh, Mrs. Puff. So we got Mrs. Puff, a coffee creamer, and Nemo. Who do we want to go into the next... I, mean, I know who I want to go in as. I want to go in as a coffee creamer. Yoshi! Yoshi! Oh, this is fantastic. I thought they would break after... Like, if they got broken in a level, that was it. You'd be done for. But I guess the health resets on every level. Oh, you know what we ought to do? Can we go back into the menu? Can we change our costumes? We can. Okay. I want to check and see if they have different stats. They do. All right. So some of these allow you to get, like, hit three times. But then rare ones, like the cow, Mrs. Puff, the clownfish, and the the Dutchman's flying, the flying Dutchman's boat. I think the boat is called the Flying Dutchman. But in SpongeBob, the character is the Flying Dutchman. But in Pirates of the Caribbean, the ship is the Flying Dutchman, and it's pirated by Davy Jones. We're just going to call it the Dutchman. It's got four hits, and it's down. Let's be a cow instead, then, because it's better. It's superior. Yashu! We're already moving on to the next land. Oh, this game's going to be done in, like, ten seconds. Yeah, give him five smiley flowers. What else are we going to do with those things? My friend said two at least, but recommended five? Two what? Two, but recommended five. Are we talking about gigabyte size? At least five for the flash drive. Five, do they make five gigabyte uh, USB stick? I, I didn't know they made them smaller than 16 gigs anymore. I, I can't imagine buying one smaller than that. Uh, I mean, you can get like a 16 gig stick for what, 10 bucks? If even? I mean, I remember my dad once spent 40 bucks on a 128 megabyte USB drive. But that was in the early 2000s, and that was pretty impressive and was also faster than our internal hard drive at the time. So I remember that was so cool. He took it, he brought it home, and I was like, so it works like a floppy. You plug it in, you move the files over to it. He goes, yeah, but it's got 128 megs. <laughs> what? That was wild. USB drive. I'm on the Target website. Target, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Uh, but yeah, okay, so you can get a 32 gig USB 2 drive, uh, thumb drive for $12 right now from Target. So I would go with that. I would get a USB 2 drive because it might not be the case, but it's possible that the the USB 3 drivers, or the USB 3 ports on your board won't work properly until you get Windows set up and get the drivers installed. And you might have some issues trying to install off of a USB 3 drive if that's the case. Uh, look at this. Here's a SanDisk Cruiser Glide USB flash drive, USB 2.0, 16 gigs, five dollars that's that's like the best deal ever five bucks 16 gig stick 64 gig stick for uh, 13 dollars you, you can't go you can't go wrong with just getting a bigger one because after you're done installing windows you can like use it for other things just my suggestions just my suggestions 
trying to catch all this on the go since I can't rewind. Oh, can you not rewind? Well, the archive will be up pretty soon, I suppose. But uh, that's what I would recommend. Just get like a 16 gig stick, 10 bucks, five bucks. Five bucks if you go to Target, apparently. For disk space on your hard drive, you need at least 16 gigabytes. I wouldn't get a 16 gigabyte hard drive, though. I would probably <laughs> I'd probably go for a little bit more than that. We're in Go-Go land. I guess we have to talk to this box again. Is he going to have another voice? No, we can bypass the box. We don't actually have to talk to him good. Because I'm running out of voices. I've only got two or three good ones on a, on a good day. And unfortunately, this is a bad day. So two of the voices I've been doing are the same, but I just had a slight accent. This one, and then another one. The, the, or what was I doing for the, for, what was it? What was I doing for Kremek? It was like, um. Yes, it's a swear to go to get rid of the bad guys. I can't remember. Hopefully he doesn't show back up again during the course of the stream. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do his voice and it's going to be a, an embarrassment. We, okay, we've managed to tongue in air. That's what we've been trying to do this whole time. Violence. Very violent. Anyway, so <laughs> I hope that you found all of that useful uh, information to be useful and uh, beneficial to you as you continue on this fun adventure to build your first PC. Reese, I wish I knew what you were saying. Um, all right. Well, do I need to do it simpler? I, I can, like, simplify things. I can certainly simplify things. Have you ever heard of a USB? Yes? Oh, gosh. How do you... Do you have to, like, double shot this thing? Oh, I see. You have to hit it while it's open. Right. If you know what a USB is... Now, now imagine a hard drive, but it's really small, and you plug it into the USB instead of SATA or NVMe. That's what we're talking about here. Hopefully that simplified things for you. Can I just jump through here? No! Sometimes we can pass through solid objects, and sometimes we can't. And there doesn't seem to be any consistency on when that is. I think if it's got, like, slats in it, like this here, you can pass through it. But again, I don't, I don't know who sets these rules. Also, what's the benefit of this one here? If we, like, knock him out at the very end, and then we run to the end, is there going to be treasure over here? Oh, <gasps> there is! Okay. That's the wrong button. I keep getting jump and attack mixed up. For no real reason. I can't think of any games that use inverted controls to this one. So I, I don't have any excuse. It's just something that I'm doing. Whee! Hi there, you. What's going on down here? Wow. A few coins. Some of them are red. So I'm not going to complain about that. There's also a button down there that we can't get to now. I'm just going to have to wait for him to move. Ow! Are you kidding me? Well, now I'm stuck down here. Nothing kills these pink things. I take a poochie. I, excuse me? What'd you just say? I, I, what? No, 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 Reese, please. Just, I understand. Just, it's not my favorite topic. No, no, look, I, I'm here to make sure that everyone is following along with us. So, let me go into more detail about how USB drives work. Are you... Darn it. Are you familiar with NVMe? Let's start with the hard drive. Uh, the, there's various different connectors you can use on a hard drive. Uh, IDE is classic when I was a kid. That's what all the computers used. All the PCs were big on this new IDE format. Uh, very fast for its time. Very antiquated and slow today. You know what? Maybe we should go further back to before I was born. Are you familiar with the floppy disk? Do you know why your USB drive, or why your hard drive is drive C on your PC today? Oh, this is actually interesting. So back in the day, PCs didn't have hard drives. Hard drives were, you know, even when they were first invented, were super expensive. So more often than not, you ran everything off of a, uh, a floppy drive. And your floppy drive would be uh, drive A. And then it became popular to put a second floppy drive in there. So you could have one for your OS and then one for any applications you wanted to run. You wouldn't have to swap them out. So that became drive B. So you had two floppy drives, drive A and drive B. And then when, when it started to become popular to install hard drives in your computer, you usually already had drive uh, A and B taken up by a floppy drive or a couple of floppy disks. So that's why they started installing hard drives and setting them to drive C because they assumed, okay, yeah, two floppy disks are already going to be in use here. So... That, that's just a little bit of interesting back back history there for you. I guess all history is back history. There's no such thing as forward history. Unless you're, like, trying to predict the future. In which case, I mean, good luck. I, I respect your effort. Like, and, and I wish you luck in that endeavor. But I just... I, I haven't heard anyone do it very well in the past. 
Uh, remember that whole Mayan calendar situation? Don't be a Mayan calendar. Reese 2019. That's the quote of the year right there. Don't be a Mayan calendar. Boom. Some of these end up being red after you collect them. That's why I'm so desperate to collect all of them just on the off chance. This looks like it's ready to blow up if we just trigger it in some way. Oh, all right. All right, here we go. Not going to fail this time. I've only got one left, though. Ah! Dead comments! Dead comments! Gosh darn I should have just stayed up here where these things were spawning. Uh, I was saying Poochie is... This is from Hal Rondo. I was saying Poochie is the only thing that can kill those pink things. You do know what Poochie is, right? I do know... Poochie is from the, the DS one, right? The 3DS one? Uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. I think it's called... No, Yoshi and Poochie's Woolly World. He's a dog. I don't know why Yoshi has a dog. He's basically a dog himself, like a dinosaur dog. So I don't know who decided that was a good idea, but can I not? Oh. Oh. Right on, I guess. Interesting indeed. Dang it, Reese. What are you talking about? I'm so, so, so lost. I mean, presumably you're in your house right now, Blood Elf, so I, I can't help you. I mean, if you're lost in your own home... I guess it's not as bad as being lost in your own thoughts. Can I not pick... What? What's the beeping sound? Oh, hold on. I think I saw one of those things up there. I just got to figure out how to get up there. Can we get up there from here? Yes, we can. And here we go. Yes! Okay, so there's definitely a guy back there, right? Why can't I aim at him? Do I need to be somewhere specific to aim at him? Presumably here. Oh, we can't quite get around to it. Do we need to go back behind here then? Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, so that's not a guy back there. I certainly thought it was. Seem like It looks like he's waving around. I got you now, you little devil. Come here, you little minx. Get out of here. Took all my eggs, but I got him in the end. I was dedicated, my friends. And that's... What happens when you you try your best and you put all your effort into it and you don't give up? Is that a is that a is that a me on a coin? That's a Yashi on a coin. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Something tells me we're gonna. Oh no, we're good. So, what do you folks think of Yashi's uh, very crafted world? Y'all impressed so far? Because I'm enjoying it. Uh, I wasn't really sure how this was gonna go as a live stream because I was like, well, there's not much to talk. Oh my gosh, look at this! I found a Poochie, everybody. He looks so excited, too. What am I supposed to do with him? Let's find out. Pretty darn cute, eh? They'll run in whichever direction Yoshi faces. Oh my gosh, we're riding on him? Hold on, how do you do that? Okay. No, no, I get the idea. This way. Go for it, mate. Let's hopefully not run off of an edge. This is confusing. I've never played a game with a Poochie before. Oh, jeez. No, hold on. We need to go back. We're going to miss some stuff. This is getting this is getting convoluted. Turn turn around! Turn around! Go back! This is this is amazing. Get him, Poochie! Get him! What are these pink things anyway? Do I just need to go? Do I just need to not worry about this anymore? Cause it certainly seems like I can just not worry about this anymore. Hold on, mate, I'm gonna get this flower back here. It's a bit like Little Big Planet. I've never played Little Big Planet. I hear good things about it, though. How do you reckon we're supposed to get back? Oh, he, he just eats his way through. Okay, but but now I need to get in there. Poochie. You, you, mate, hold on. Clearly, we're missing some puzzle elements here. If you could just eat right through that. I then need you to go. go no. Okay, you know what we're probably supposed to do? We get him to go in there. And then we go over here. Ah, there we go. Nice. Problem solving with your pup. That's what life is all about. Am I right, friends? Come here, you. Let's go. I want to... There we go. He gets collectibles for you? He does indeed. You just got to work out how. Eat those weird squirrel things, you. And he does jump. Oh. Did that not... 
Come on, I think we gotta do that jump again. Nice. Ugh, this is fun. No one saw my pun? What did you pun? Degitated? De egg de egitated? Is that a word? I don't, I don't get the pun. I, I mean, I, I see it, but I don't. I'm not sure I understand it. And that might just be on me. How long is this level, though? Good grief! I feel like we've been here a long time, but maybe that's just because I've been a bit dense on some of these things. All right, bud. Something tells me you and I are gonna have to work together for this one. Full speed ahead. Full, full speed ahead. Oh. Goodness gracious, talk about stress. Ugh. So what have you folks been up to today? <laughs> I got real distracted by the fact that there was a dog and it might have slowly sort of forgotten that I was on a live stream with people watching and I should probably interact with the chat. You're talking about de egg it Oh, okay. All right, I see. I see now. I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. It, it is a pun. I guess there's that. All right, you. What? Hold on a second. I just got a text message from my mother. All right? Do you want placemats with VeggieTales, dinosaurs, and presidents on them? This is the question I just received from my mother during a live stream. I'm going to have to say... That, that is a resounding yes. But are they all on one placemat? Gosh, I hope so. How does that happen? Of course I do, yeah. Dinosaurs, VeggieTales, and Presidents. That's got to be some sort of homeschooling related thing. Definitely not licensed by any of those individuals, by the way. Ah, oh, come on. I'm real bad at that. Oh, I keep forgetting that I do have this dog I need to deal with. Do I need to go back for him? I don't... We're going to have to get him across here using eggs. Come here, you. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, shoot. I've made a mistake. Hold on. I'm going to get it back. Nobody panic. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Mom momentarily broke the stream is all. Not a big issue. No needs, no reason to panic, guys. It's all good. Is that not how you do that? You have to jump on them? I can't jump on them. Presumably you gotta hit them, but I can't hit them either. Guys! Poochie's just stuck over there. Oh, well, you know what? It was fun while it lasted. I thought he was a bit on the cute side. But uh, if I can't get him over here... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, nobody give up on him yet. We're gonna bring him back. Welcome back to Reese Breaks the Stream. It happens more often than I care to admit. Uh, a lot of the issues that I cause are... Co like, a lot of the issues I face on live streams are caused by myself, right? Like, they're, they're problems of my own making in one way or another. Not always, but sometimes. Was there something up there? Anytime he high jumps, I just assume there's some little hidden bit I'm missing because I'm not jumping along with him. Oh, we did it. Okay, not bad at all. I wasn't panicking. I wasn't panicking. Panicking is an exaggeration. I was completely chilled and relaxed and uh, completely in control of the situation. No no need to get worried. Poochie's Tape Trail. Didn't realize that's what it was called. I should have realized that there would be a Poochie if I'd paid attention to the title. Well, that was great. Does, does he get to continue on our adventure or do we have to leave him behind now? I guess he'd be a bit broken in some of the levels. I'm sort of tempted to go back, though, and get some of the previous costumes that we missed out on. Because I know that there was a couple more that we didn't go. What? There's a bunch of them! Are we following them back through the level? What will you do? I guess I'll go find them. Go through the level backwards? I had my mind on the doggo. Oh god, I didn't realize this was timed. Why is it timed? What is the purpose of this? To just get from one side of the level to the other? Is there any... Touch a poochie pup and it will follow you. So I just gotta get all the poochie pups. Is that it? 
Seems simple enough. I feel like I'm doing it wrong already, though. This is real trippy. Ah, uh, is this like a thing in normal Yoshi games? Like you have to go through the level again backwards? Uh, keeping in mind that I've only played two so far, this is definitely trippy for me. You can throw them? Oh, I don't know about that. That seems cruel. Anytime I think of a Poochie, I just think of Kylo. I don't think I'd pick up Kylo and chunk him at a bad guy. Maybe I would. I'm, it depends. Would it be beneficial to me? Would it be beneficial to both of us? Because here's the thing. Beneficial to me, yes, but would it benefit Kylo? Because it's gonna. if I throw a Poochie at a bad guy, it's going to be good for both of us. But um, I don't know. I'm just concerned if I throw a, uh, Kylo at a bad guy. Like, it's only going to benefit me. And, oh, jeez. It's a good thing we're wearing this armor. It's a good thing the armor reset, by the way. Oh, there he is. Come here, you. Getcha. Come on over. Welcome to the party. Does the time matter? Am I, is there, like, if you complete it within a certain amount of time, do you get some sort of bonus reward? Also, so these look a lot smaller. Are they pups? Pooch pups? Poochie pups? Poochie pups sounds like something you would get in a frozen food aisle. And the advertisements on TV would make it look really delicious, and all the kids would be like, I love my Poochie Pup! But then you'd actually go to the store, and you'd finally convince your mom to get them. And she'd be like, well, what do you think of your Poochie Pups? And you're like, these taste like dog. I don't like these at all. Mom, why Why did you let me buy these? You're supposed to know everything, Mom, and you failed me. You've bought me what is essentially dog food poison now. But of course, I mean, with some, a title like a Poochie Pup... It, it a, a Poochie Pop would be something you would give to a dog. Like, you know that you can get ice cream for your dogs now? If you ended up buying that for yourself, I have no sympathy for you. You should have realized early on that it was a dog food. Also, we didn't miss one, did we? No, I guess not, because... It... Oh, gotta go this way. You guys would have said something, right? I mean, I'm not looking at the chat at all, but presumably you would have all said something. Like a big chorus of Reese go backwards, you missed one of the pops. Also, they bark when you walk past them. Are there any hidden treasures in here that we need to uh, be concerned with? Like, are there more flowers or anything like that? I feel like I'm doing this wrong for some reason. Like, I just feel like it's going too well. And I'm not spending enough time. Mm. Yeah, I missed one. I missed one. I didn't plan that. Which, which one did I miss? You missed it. Go back. Foreground way back. Oh, fan... Fantastic. I, I honestly figured that we would have heard or seen it. Where, where was it? How far back? Like, how way back? We've gone back pretty substantial ways. I sure hope that the, uh, the timer doesn't matter. You say foreground? So not the background. It's definitely not over here. I feel like a fool. The timer's just ticking up and we're we're all out of time. Oh, look at this, though. Okay, no, it's good we came back here so we can get some extra life. Okay, where is he? Presumably you guys know, because I certainly don't. He was sleeping already, so no barks? Sleeping? Do they go to sleep if you don't catch him soon enough? This is bad. This is bad. I should have realized it was all going too smoothly. Not back there, right? He's not hanging out with these guys. You guys did say foreground specifically. And I'm going to assume you all know what the difference is between a foreground and a background. You do. He's not back there. Keep going. Oh, good grief. Got my eyes peeled here. Cannot go that way. I feel like we're getting close to where I caught the last one, though. There he is. Come here, you. Get over here. It's being distracted by a bad guy. All right, well, at least now we know how to get out of here. And we've cleared the way ahead of us pretty substantially. So, I mean, it's only going to take us about five minutes to clear this level when it should have taken us maybe closer to three. I know what to do now, though. I can come back and uh, I can do it in record time. And by record time, I mean my own personal record, not worldwide record. Because no doubt some speedrunners managed to do this in seven seconds with an arm tied behind his back and his eyes closed and... He's utilizing some sort of backwards jump roll technique that's very difficult to pull off. I'm never going to be able to figure it out. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. I'm not a speedrunner. I used to 
like not professionally or uh, aggressively speedrun games. But when I was a kid and the internet was new and I didn't really know what speedrunning was, I would personally try to like run through games as quick as I could. I never used any of the, the tactics though, right? Like the rolling into a wall to project yourself to the next level or anything like that. I didn't know glitches like that were possible in video games. So it was always just me trying to find the fastest way through uh, normally. And it was a good time. Bring... Okay, within five minutes. We were so close! Uh, guys! Uh, ah! Could have done it. Could have been a contender. Instead, we're just a chicken tender. Do, 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 do. You can now search for Poochie Pups My courses that you've already cleared. Okay. I see. So they're adding a bit of value to these uh, previous levels. I want to go in here. Because I think this is the one we're closest to completing. And we've got quite a bit of coin. So, how many are in there? One, two, three, four, maybe five? Surely it won't let us select more than... Well, we've only got 400 coins anyway. Kind of want to get that last one up there at the top. I don't think... Oh, we got we got the yellow one. Oh, what's in the yellow one? And there's also only one more left in there. Let's see what we get. We better get something epic. Okay. Uh, we got a dory. We got a, a water wheel. All right. A bottle cap. Okay, if I take that back to that old man in that hut, he'll train my Pokemon from level 100. That's good. And we've got a chilly bath. I mean, is that... It doesn't look cold, and it also doesn't look like chilly, so I don't know what the pun here is supposed to be. It just looks like some sort of goop. Well, this has been fun. I've enjoyed this. I'm going to continue playing this. Uh, I don't know if we're going to live stream it at any point again. But I thought it would be a fun thing to do on a Saturday morning. I gotta go to the bank. I didn't know it was already 12. What time does the bank close? I think they close at 12.30. Oh no, this is bad. Hold on. Maybe I shouldn't waste time trying to find out what time the bank closes. And I should instead go to the bank. And yet here we are. Let's see. <laughs> closed! No way! They're closed all day today. They don't close during the day. Are you serious? That can't be accurate, unless it's like a holiday of some kind that I don't know about. Well, thank you folks for tuning in and watching. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this stream. Uh, big shout out to our current stream boss, Blood Elf, who became the stream boss uh, earlier in the stream by uh, subbing for a fifth month in a row over here on Twitch. So thank you so much for that. Uh, the pink is close. Yeah, it is. That's, that's tragic. I'm going to go eat lunch. Uh, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us during this live stream. If you enjoyed it, please share it with a friend or loved one. They'll enjoy it as well, and thank you are really cool for watching it. Also, big thanks to our patron supporters. Check out the link in the description, or head to patreon.com slash howdyfolks to find out how you can become a patron or executive producer. Until next time, thank you folks for watching, God bless you, and we'll see you later. <laughs>